Hello and welcome to Bits of Blender. Hello. Today we're going to be working on object fonts. So, object fonts is basically your way to create your own font in Blender. So I'm going to pop open Blender. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to <laughs> create three objects for the three letters. Now you can create whatever objects you want. You can, for now, I'm going to use the some pre-existing ones, such as a monkey. That's nice. Uh, a Taurus, and I'll create a cone as my third one. Now these are going to be three letters. A, B, and C. Uh, now, we're going to name these. And you can think of... We're going to make a prefix here. Bob for bits of blender. And underscore. And you can think of this prefix as the family of fonts. And you can have multiple fonts. But this is... We're just going to have one. And it's... Bob underscore. And then you can put the letter you want. I'm going to do A. Now it is case sensitive, so depending on which one you want, I'm going to go with lowercase. This is going to be Bob B. Uh, and then this is going to be Bob C. I'm going to add some text. And just as I explained, I'm going to put on ABC. All right, uh, I'm going to space the letters apart. Uh, now, this is interesting because once I uh, turn on, once I use the object font here, uh, I can use all of the font parameters here. I can do line spacing, I can do letter spacing. So I'm going to turn on verts here. And I did something wrong. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> Correct. So, I gotta specify my object font first. Now, my object font is Bob underscore, as I explained earlier. And upon adding that, <laughs> you can see we've got A, B, and C. Uh, so, you can space this apart as much as you want. Uh, Now, I'm going to I'm going to set the camera to the top view. Be, uh, I'll do control alt 0. And now notice you can see three our three objects here and then you can see them as the font over here. Now, rendering this, you notice that these aren't here. Now this is interesting because if I delete a character, it's not used, it'll appear in this area. So, uh, just depends uh, what you're using. You might want to put it out of the screen if if you are not if you're not using all of them. Or put it on a layer that you're not rendering. Oh yeah, that would be useful. In, uh, but in cycles, they will show up regardless. Yeah, if you go into Cycles Render, we're using all three, but you can still see the. So the behavior is a little different here. between the two renderers. Now I'm gonna change the color for one of these because it's not just. Uh, oh, we're in Cycles. Uh, back to Blender. Uh, don't want that. So I'm gonna change the color here to a nice cyan. And. Um, it, uh, that color also works on the, uh, the font here. Now, also, I'm going to edit the object. Now, you can, you can create your own objects and edit them on the fly here. I'm just making it, the monkey look weird. <laughs> but, uh, you can scale it along the X, or, you know... I can scale it along the Y. 
So it just depends what you want. If you scale the object, it's not going to work, which is interesting because if this material is an object material, uh, and we still use it, um, it still works. Uh, now, you might notice that even though the text here is not visible in rendering, you can see it in while you're editing it and all that. Now, you might want to change that. And you can do that by making it transparent. Now, I'm going to turn on transparency and increase or decrease the alpha to zero. And you can see there's some specular there, so I'll make it shadeless. Uh, and then I'm going to want to turn on and shading GLSL so that we can view it like this. And um, if you go into textured, you can see there's no letter here, which is nice. Um, so I can do some A's and some B's, B, C, and all that. And um, without seeing those letters. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Hopefully, hopefully you did. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time.